Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What type of uh, reports uh, can be created or cannot be created uh, in uh, SSRS by using Report uh, Wizard? So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have uh, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, open uh, and uh, one of the project I have created. Now right click on the reports uh, and click on Add New Report. Uh, this is going to initiate a Report Wizard. Uh, click Next. Uh, and here we will provide a shared data source or embedded data source. Click next and we have to provide the query. So I'm going to write a query total sale and hit next. This is the part I would like to show you. So these are the type of reports that we can create in a, a report wizard. Those are tabular reports and matrix reports. So you can click off any of them and uh, hit next. Then you have to place the columns in a page or group or detail so you can place those columns in different uh, uh, categories. Once you are done with that, then you will be selecting the table style and then you hit next and finish. That's how you will create the report. But you see that we had only two options, tabular and matrix. Also on top of that, we can create the parameter reports in a report wizard. So let's say if I would like to have a region as a parameter is equal to at the rate region and country in at the rate country so you see here I have created two parameters one is single value parameter and this is multi value parameter so I can hit next still the report types are going to be the same so we have tabular or matrix hit next and place the values or columns here in detail or groups hit next and finish so you see here the report is created with the parameters but one thing you see if you will preview the report, these are single value parameters as of now. To make them, uh, uh, to make it actually country as a multi value, you have to go to parameter properties and then hit allow multi values. So you can tell, uh, you can create tabular and matrix reports. Also, you can include the parameters, but eventually you have to come back and set the properties for those parameters. Let's say if I would like to create this report as cascading parameter, there is no option in the report wizard that will let me do it. But I can create a simple report with region and country and then come back here and provide the values and make them cascading. And during the walkthrough with the wizard, you see that there was no option to create chart reports, gauge reports, indicator reports, list reports. So they all type of different reports that we can create in the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools from scratch that's not available in Report Wizard. Only two options we have tabular or matrix and we can make them parameterize but remember we have to come back to the parameters at the end and play with some properties and set those properties. So that's pretty much it for this uh, uh, video and uh, one more thing you can tell them hey, it is a good idea always start with the, if you are creating tabular or matrix report you can start with the wizard but eventually you will be coming back and making changes uh, as per your requirement. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.